Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Our Small Footprint. My name is Nissa. We're a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. This is an unplanned video. This isn't the video that I have scheduled for today, uh, but I thought I'd share because it was very cool. So, if you've listened to any of my other recent chats, you know that we had some problems with the ducks and not hatching eggs and things like that. We collected some of the duck eggs and put them in the incubator. And yesterday we had one start to hatch. Uh, there was a bit of a debacle with it. We hadn't pulled the dividers out that rotate the eggs yet. Uh, we weren't sure exactly how many days in the egg was, things like that. Anyway, it started to pip yesterday. It internally and externally pipped yesterday morning. So by this morning, it's been 24 hours and I was getting a bit concerned about it. The membrane that you could see on the egg was quite discolored, quite dark yellow. And on Googling, that's because the egg wasn't at the right humidity for incubating. So the mama duck wasn't doing it quite well enough. Uh, so there was a bit of concern there. So I risked reaching in and grabbing the little divider out to give it a bit more room. And then we gave it another few hours to see if it could do anything. But I've got video footage that I've sped up a bit for you showing you that you could see him uh, or her moving in the egg, but nothing was happening. So that, that membrane was it was just really tough. So what I did was I did a whole bunch of Googling and I read that you could add some coconut oil to the shell and the membrane to try and help soften them up. So I opened it again and slathered it a little bit in just a little bit of coconut oil and soaked right into that membrane. Left it for another couple of hours to see if he managed to do anything and he still didn't. Very at a point where I don't think he was going to be able to get out. So after doing some more research, uh, I decided I was going to try and assist hatching. Now, any assisted hatching that I've ever done before has never gone well. So it was a little bit apprehensive about it, but decided to pull him out and just in front of the incubator, started peeling away pieces of shell without taking the membrane so that if the membrane was stuck anywhere that it was fine. But the membrane was very loose. Uh, it was just tough. So I eventually peeled enough of the membrane away that he just sort of exploded out of that membrane as well. So I quickly tossed him back in the uh, incubator so he could dry off and try to get that off himself. So I've got footage of that. Uh, my daughter was supposed to be controlling the camera while I was peeling the egg and it's a bad angle, but you can see some of it and you can see him pop out, but then I panicked a little bit. So I didn't show you too much of that because I just wanted to quickly get him back in the incubator. Once he was back in the incubator, I left him for a while, but he still had a bit of membrane and shell stuck on him. I was hoping that he'd be able to get it off himself. Uh, we left him there till he dried off and he was completely dry and that membrane stuff was still stuck there. So I pulled him out and I put some more coconut oil on the bit that was left and we snipped the, the loose bit off and then part of it was wrapped around his tail feathers. So we managed to pull that off as well. No skin, no blood, no nothing. So that's perfect. Um, and now he's completely free. So we've got him under the heat mat in the in a little crate, um, but he's a bit lonely. He can hear all the chicks and the duck the other duck crying out, uh, but he can't join them because he's too small. He will uh, definitely get um, damaged by the chicks. So uh, we put the other duck in with him for a bit and they got on really well, but uh, Whistler, the other duck, just kept on crying for the chickens because that's his friends. So we had to put him back. But anyway, so there's some footage at the end of him with Apollo and I'll try and put a photo in too to show you the size difference between Whistler who's like two weeks old now and the new little duckling. So enjoy watching and I will see you with the what we eat in a week video maybe tomorrow morning or later tonight whenever I get it finished but I just had to share this one in the meantime. Thanks guys, see you later.